Thank you to uh, everybody for being here uh, today and for those of us uh, that are not here and join us online, I appreciate you uh, uh, being here. Um, I'd like to begin uh, by thanking Mr. Davis, uh, Dan Ventrelli, um, the entire Raiders organization. Um, it's, it's been an incredible uh, experience for me the last three or four days here, uh, getting to, to know the people in the organization. Um, you know, it's, it's been a thorough process. They've been very candid. Um, I, I understand the vision uh, that, that they have in mind. Uh, that's been clear from the beginning, uh, what they're looking for. Um, seeing the stadium, the facility, uh, and again, every person that I've met thus far, uh, you can tell uh, where this organization is headed, uh, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, I'm also excited to partner with uh, Dave Ziegler, uh, who is not only a friend of mine, but uh, we go back a long way, and uh, uh, I have a great deal of respect for him, uh, his ability to, uh, to do the job that, that he's been hired to do here, uh, evaluate, lead our personnel and scouting department. Um, you know, he's a hard worker, tireless in his effort to, to do anything that he can to help the football team win, uh, and I'm excited to, to join uh, in our vision together. Um, I would also uh, like to thank the New England Patriots uh, organization, uh, Robert, Jonathan Kraft, uh, Coach Belichick. Um, 18 years, uh, I was very fortunate to learn and grow uh, in a world-class organization, a first-class uh, environment. Um, learned so many things from them. Um, feel fortunate that me and my family were able to go through that experience. Um, and, and now uh, here I am today. Um, my family, uh, starting with Laura, uh, my wife, um, she's my biggest supporter. Uh, she's the rock and head coach of, of our crew back home. Um, my four kids, uh, Jack, Maddie, uh, Livy, and Nina, uh, who are excited to join Raider Nation. Um, uh, they're, they're obviously my biggest support system, uh, and they've, they've helped me uh, chase my dreams and goals uh, professionally, uh, and it, it would be impossible without their support. Uh, my mom and dad, um, that's why I'm in this profession today. My father was a uh, uh, head football coach, high school football coach. Um, he's a legend in Ohio. Uh, he didn't like me to say that, but uh, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about that. Um, you know, and I've been going to, to practices since I was four or five years old, and, um, and my mother's, uh, I tell her all the time, she's the, the best, uh, you know, mother of a, of a player when I was growing up that I could ask for. She knew what a three technique was. She knew what punt protection was, and, you know, so uh, we, we, we got an earful from her. Um, but their support uh, has been incredible uh, in my life and uh, certainly in my career. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the assistant coaches uh, that I've worked with, um, the players uh, that I've had the privilege to coach. Um, I know that uh, any advancement, personal advancement in this profession uh, is only as the result of the collective efforts of everybody else. Um, and certainly uh, they're the big reason why I'm sitting here today and uh, I thank them. Um, the last 10 to 12 years, uh, I've really had an opportunity to grow as a person, as a coach, as a man, um, and try to figure out, um, you know, after my experiences uh, in Denver and, and St. Louis, um, who I am, uh, how I wanted to be defined uh, in my career, uh, what I wanted to represent, and how I would lead the next time if I, if I got another opportunity uh, to be a head coach. And, I've, I've, you know, it's crystallized for me. I'm clear in the vision that I have uh, for this role, for this job, for this team, um, and I'm going to be myself. Uh, and I think that's really important uh, for me um, and, and our organization as we go forward. Um, I'm the son of a football coach, and uh, I, you know, I don't apologize for that. I knew I wanted to do this uh, since I was four or five years old, and. Um, I love everything about this game. I love the practices. I love the weight room. I love the film study. Um, I love the winning and losing, even though nobody wants to lose. Uh, that's how you get better in this game. Um, and all the challenges that are presented in terms of trying to reach your ultimate goal in this profession, uh, all of those things are uh, part of the process. And if you didn't love a uh, part of that process, uh, it, would, it would be a problem. And 
I love to work hard. I'm going to be committed to the cause, which has been made very clear to me. I know it's clear to Dave. Um, I value character, hard work, loyalty. Um, those are really important things to me. Um, and I also think that it's really important as I've grown uh, and understand now how important it is to evolve, uh, to innovate, uh, to do new things, to try to figure out new ways uh, for us to uh, continue to try to be the best. Um, a wise man once told me that when you're young, you try to accumulate and advance. And when you get older, uh, you figure out that it's a lot more about serving and impacting others. And I think I've gone through both phases. And I learned a lot through my experiences, and now I'm excited to have that opportunity uh, to consistently impact other people. And I'm competitive. Um, and everything that I, that I do and I'm involved in, I want to compete to try to be the best we can, we can be. Um, I think we'll, uh, our team will show that uh, day in and day out. I think that's the best way for us to reach our, our, our potential, uh, is to compete in, in every aspect of, of our organization. Um, the mission here, uh, Mr. Davis has made it very clear to me. Um, we're committed to doing whatever it takes uh, to win on and off the field. It's very important for us uh, to be a pillar in the community, uh, to do the right thing, to represent uh, this organization, Raider Nation, uh, the city of Las Vegas with class and integrity, uh, and we'll do that. Um, we're going to build a culture that is sustained <clears throat> by high character people uh, that work hard uh, to meet that championship standard in every area. Um, we want a tough, smart football team that's explosive, um, that's important, uh, that, can, that, can adapt, that can adapt in today's NFL. I think that's really important. Um, you can't beat uh, every team the same way, and, and we're going to need to be adaptable. Um, I, I, you know, uh, the, the organization itself has, has, like I said, made such an impression on me in such a short time, and we're going to represent that organization the right way. Um, there'll be one rope, and from Mr. Davis on down, we're going to pull it in the same direction. And we have one goal, and if we're all pulling in the same direction, uh, we can accomplish a lot of great things. Uh, there will be a million moments um, that contribute to the success of this organization, and uh, this will, will be the first one. Um, to our players and fans, uh, we're committed uh, in our pursuit of excellence. Whatever we have to do, uh, to achieve our goals. Uh, we're going to put our head down. We're going to work hard. Uh, we're going to put great people uh, in this building in every area. Uh, we're going to do what it takes uh, for us to achieve, um, you know, that vision. Um. You've been listening to Josh McDaniels being introduced as the new head coach of the Raiders there, taking a look at his profile. Of course, he was the head coach of the Broncos for two seasons, was 11-17 and 17 then, but has since been with a couple teams, including the Patriots, since 2012, 21 seasons of NFL coaching experience. Uh, and many people you talk to, including our NFL insider Jason Lockenfora, say they think he will be a much more successful head coach the second time around. Head coaching win percentage of former Bill Belichick's assistants. Of course, it has not always been great, uh, but we'll see what happens with Josh McDaniels with the Raiders. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.